Ladies and gentlemen, to another wonderful episode of The Wonders of Science with Mr. Weiber. This is Season 3, Episode 2. And in this episode, we're going to answer the question, what is a star? Does anyone know? Anyone? Anyone want to take a guess? Anyone want to try? All right. Let me go ahead and answer that question. So what is a star? Well, a star is an astronomical object that is seen in the night sky. It consists of a luminous spheroid of plasma that is held together by its own gravity. Wow. Okay, that, I'll admit that definition is pretty loaded. So let me break apart a few things in there and explain them a little bit more. So what is luminous? Luminous refers to the light that it, it gives off. In other words, it's brightness. In other words, when you look in the sky, you know that that's the first thing you would notice about a star is this, this bright light you see. Now, the next word that's, I admit, a little confusing, but needed for understanding its definition, is a spheroid. In other words, these objects we see in the night sky are spheroid. That is, they are sphere-like, or excuse me, sphere-like sphere, sphere -like shape. And they're not a perfect sphere, but they look sort of like it, despite what we usually think about when we draw stars, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then we have plasma. Now, plasma is a particular state of matter. One way to think about this is think about lightning, for example. All right? And then lastly, I said it was held together by its own gravity. So that's pretty cool. We understand what gravity is. Now, maybe I should define it in a future video with a little more depth, but we have a general idea. In other words, like if you jump up in the air, you go back down. Gravity, that force, holds you back down. Okay? Now, here's something pretty cool. Now that we've kind of talked about what a star is, so your question that you might be thinking in your mind is, okay, is there any stars that are really close to us? Well, yes, the nearest star to us is the sun. Yes, believe it or not, the sun is a star. People don't think about it like that because it's in its own separate category, just in the sense that when we talk about it in academics or when we've grown up in life, we've thought about, okay, there's the stars and there's the sun. But the sun is just a larger star, but it's very important, very fundamental to everything that we do, believe it or not. Pretty cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to our fun science fact of the day. Hmm. Sorry, just no good puns I could think of at this moment. Okay, get this. Listen, there are no, and yes, I said the word no, there are no green stars. I know you might be thinking, wait a minute. There's all these colors out there. How come there's no green stars? Well, here's the reason why. And let me try to explain this as best as I can. Stars do emit what we call a spectrum or a rainbow of colors, which do include green. But the problem is, is within our, our human eye brain connection, it sometimes mixes colors so we don't see that green coming out. Now, some people do happen to see it when they're observing through telescopes and they think and it looks more like an optical effect than an actual green color. Um, so it just has to do with just what we see, okay? Just, th just thought I'd mention that, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for another wonderful episode of The Wonders of Science with Mr. Wybrew. Keep an eye out for the question that's at the end of the video, and as always, enjoy the wonders of science. Take care, good day, and goodbye.